Hey guys, I'm going to go through truss layout a little bit in a little bit more detail just so you can see what's wrong and what's right because basically they kind of all look the same unless you get into detail. So what I did is I created some scenes here and I'm going to show you truss layout uh, the wrong way to do things. Now essentially what happens is is that when we have larger spans you obviously want to reduce the likelihood of having this is called a truncated girder over a larger span because there's more weight and I'll just explain that a little bit more. You see the weight on this uh, truss is basically everything from halfway uh, to here and this hip is actually loading on here. So essentially the weight is pushing down over this beam. Whereas if I actually looked at this uh, the correct way of doing it, what I should be doing is getting this uh, truncated girder to go over the top of a frame and I'll probably double up that stud there or have a crush plate there and let's have a bit of a look at how that all works out so if we looked at our girder layout right so when we've drawn these trusses we started the span first and we started to draw the uh, the length of the roof and therefore our girder truss was here and this is this one was kind of uh, difficult because it was going to fall over a beam no matter what but fortunately we could put another post in there and we could reduce the size of the beam and that's important in this day and age with timber shortage and so on. So however with here these girder trusses uh, it's not a good idea to actually have a girder truss run into another girder truss because when you do that not only are you getting all the load of here you're also getting the load of the residual trusses and see if we can have a look at that here. The wrong way to do it. Okay, so if we can just explain this for a second. So we've got all the load of these trusses on this girder truss, right? And we also have all of these creeper trusses to make the roof plane. So at all costs, try and avoid to have a girder truss running into a girder truss. And if you can, try and make sure that all of your girder trusses or truncated girder trusses fall over minimal spans. It's a good way to design, it's a good way to reduce cost in a project, it's a good way to actually make it easier to build. Anyway guys, I hope it helps. Cheers.